Welcome back. Well, the first preseason game of the 2022 NFL season is upon us, and you're looking live at Canton, Ohio, for tonight's Hall of Fame game, pitting the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Jacksonville Jaguars kickoff tonight at 8 Eastern. So those two squads set to tee it up as the league finding itself mired in controversy. We want to bring our panel back for this topic. Deshaun Watson facing a six-game suspension, which the NFL is appealing for sexual misconduct allegations. And meanwhile, the Dolphins lost their first round draft pick and their team owner is suspended through October over tampering. So some of the tampering conversations did involve Tom Brady. He was not disciplined. Does the NFL have a double standard for suspension? Let's start with you, Tony. Uh, the two very, very different subjects. When you're talking about Stephen Ross of the Miami Dolphins, you're talking about tampering with Tom Brady. There was a conversation of tampering uh, with the uh, former New Orleans Saints coach, uh, uh, Sean Payton. That would be seen by, I think, everybody as different than Deshaun Watson settling with 30 women and then still settling with 24 others uh, regarding sexual misconduct and impropriety. It's here that the NFL gets asked a lot of questions about why do they accept certain things, like why they accept things mm -hmm. uh, like abuse with six-game suspensions or allow people to have uh, careers uh, again. The NFL is desperate to have this behind them. There's money on the table. There's ratings on the table, which, again, is a money-on-the-table uh, conversation. Roger Goodell mm -hmm. uh, just announced that it would be the former New Jersey attorney general who will be hearing uh, the appeal. As opposed to him himself, he wants a little bit of distance uh, from this. Mm -hmm. He wants to be able to get this settled with a little bit more of a penalty, it seems, so he could say, look at the good work the NFL did we took this seriously yeah. and capri i hear you agreeing uh, absolutely look i mean it is it is imperative that the nfl take a stand here i mean the six game suspension and i am a cleve i'm a lifelong Cleveland browns fan okay Th these are my oh, i am a dog so pound sad. person <laughs> look i, I tony I mean, stay I, you in know, your I, lane stay I, in your I, lane tony I love, capri i love the i love the underdog i mean this guy doesn't like me anyway it's cool so it's cool if he takes takes me out for being the dog pound <laughs> as well so that's fine i'm a, I'm a democrat who likes the dog pound um so I, i'm losing um, all the time. Uh, anyway, to be very, to be very, very serious here, you know, I, this is, this is a very serious allegation. These are allegations that have been investigated, a six game suspension for sexual misconduct and abuse. Uh, the NFL had to appeal this. They have to take a stand. They have to show that they are serious. And I guess there's, they're asking for a full season as well, as well as I believe um, you know, postseason suspension, um, which, you know, may hurt the Cleveland Browns, but it has to be done. And it is something that I say as someone who, you know, uh, was the author of the rape kit backlog law in the state of Ohio, um, you know, you got to put the, the um, you know, football aside and the allegiance aside during the season and stand up for what's right. The question is, is the NFL just going to do this as window dressing or will they be consistent, right. not just set a precedent? Will they actually go through and do this time and time again and not let people get away with things just because they're pro athletes? Well, and I think that's the big question, consistency. I mean, Capri and Tony, I hear you both. You can't compare apples to oranges. So let me bring you a smorgasbord of fruit here, okay? There has been several other NFL suspensions throughout the years, and I want to bring some of these up. Uh, Michael Vick for dogfighting, 32 games. Tom Brady for deflate gate, four games. Kareem Hunt for assault. Antonio Brown for personal conduct, both eight games. Calvin really for gambling, 17 games. I mean, is this just window dressing? Is there a rhyme or reason here? Or is it just that some players at the end of the day are, are more valuable than others? Well, if I can help explain this, so the NFL actually has a very set level of guidelines of what punishment suspensions should correlate with certain issues. And so with this question of sexual assault, it's brought into violent offenses and first time violent offenses are supposed to be given a six game suspension. So what the NFL is doing here is very manipulative and suspicious in that they're trying mm. to say that the judge just made a wrong decision here, so we're appealing it like the good guys. But actually, all the judge did, and I read the entire opinion, the decision, was just go through and apply the NFL's own standards. So in order to change itself, the NFL has to go backwards and actually revise their own guidelines. Manipulative and suspicious. Capri, what do you think about that? Oh, look, I think I think she makes a really good point. I mean, you know, I had I, I am not as familiar with the intricacies of, of the NFL rules. Um, so I definitely have learned something just from from those comments there. But I mean, if that's the case, this really is manipulative by trying to pretend like they're doing something hardcore and when they're not really doing that at all. I think back to my earlier point to the fact that, you know, it, it the NFL the real question is, are they just doing this to try to prove a point? And it looks like it is. 
what will happen in the long term mm -hmm. past this? What's going to happen with the next sexual assault issue, the next Michael Vick and dog fighting? Then, then what? I think that's we're really going to see the uh, the true colors of the NFL. Yeah, and to your point, I want I want to bring Amy's voice in here as well with this next question. You know, the NFL did estimate about 45 percent of football fans are women, and ESPN's Robert Griffin III, former QB, tweeting this out, saying that when it comes to protecting women, the NFL has gotten it wrong time and time again. Mm -hmm. um, do fans care? Could this impact viewership? Are they doing enough? Amy, let's go to you. Well, it, it's a sad history um, that the NFL actually, did, they do just keep repeating, uh, cherry picking, depending on how they're going to, um, you know, I guess, give, give the, the uh, repercussions, depending on public pressure, right? And how popular is this athlete in particular? And so, you know, you have somebody like Deshaun Watson, who is literally, if this is, if all these accusations are true, which he actually, um, he actually did say that one of the accusers cried at the end of one of the encounters, uh, you know, it, this guy's a predator and the NFL has a, a very bad history of making sure that their own players are safe. I mean, do you remember the, the mm -hmm. Ravens player? that beat his mm. girlfriend to a pulp and then yeah. dragged her out of the elevator. I mean, it, there's there's a big problem with the NFL. Absolutely. I mean, Angela, yeah. I see you shaking your, your head. Tony, you're agreeing? I think that there's one thing here that is clear, and there's a, a cultural conversation. In a world of Me Too, in a world of Believe All Women, uh, you have people who are comics who had their careers ended. You had actors who had their career ended. And in the NFL, six weeks. That's a pretty stark thing for the American people to take. So the NFL may very well have rules. The American people have rules, too. And I think that's where Goodell is playing because he's looking at that dollars and cents bottom line. To, culturally, <laughs> this smacks is weird. We yeah. also know that, like these comics, etc., like they're making comebacks. I mean, with the exception of Harvey Weinstein, like our society is kind of opening their doors again. You take three people. years of not making a living and then get back to me. <laughs> Look, I mean, I think that the real issue here is one of dollar, dollars and cents, because you think about, you know, unless you're somebody that maybe is um, making money for a record label, for example, and has a contract with a record label, um, or maybe you have a five, you know, movie contract with a studio or something like that, you're really just yourself earning that money. In, in the NFL, if you are, if you have, if you're down your star player, guess what? The entire franchise is losing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think what they're doing is they're turning a blind eye um, for the greater good of the team. And who suffers is, you know, the, the brand, the sport. Um, and, and it sends the wrong message to the fans, not just the 45% of women, but men who aren't putting up with it either. And I think that we're seeing that this is not a, a you know, behavior that is going to be accepted by anyone in American society anymore. Capriya, thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.